Yeah, those three agencies work together over the summer to create plans and get all the necessary tools to keep students, teachers and staff safe beginning next school year. If our children and staff are not safe, they can't learn and our adults can't teach. Law enforcement agencies across the valley collectively work together over the summer to see how to improve students' safety before school starts back up August 12th. As I told you before, this is not acceptable. We will not stand for school violence being normal. As a team effort for the upcoming school year and Senate Bill 89 passing, there will be more funds directed towards school safety. CCSD Police Chief James Ketza says they will increase the number of officers on high school campuses, as well as the random class searches. They also hope to add an additional four K-9 units. We're going to continue with our K-9 officers in our schools to make sure that we deter any student to bring weapons onto our campuses. To combat gun violence and weapons on campus, Metro has partnered with ATF. Detectives and agents from the federal task force will respond to all firearms located or recovered on school grounds. All crimes will be thoroughly investigated and above all, Metro wants to remind students the importance of notifying police when something suspicious comes up. There's no detail that's too small that can't be reported to any of the entities through any of the avenues and channels that have been put out there. Now, as a reminder, as you just heard from Chief Deputy Andy Walsh, if you see something, make sure to say something. Last year, CCSD received more than 5,000 tips through the Safe Voice app. Reporting live in studio, Alexander DeLeon, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.